We've been working on microfiltration for about 20 years, and um, it's been an evolutionary process, but we have come to this, uh, this uh, delivery system, which we think works really well. These are basically seafood or fruit uh, totes, um, and we get ones that are broken or cracked because we do want them to leak, and we put the garden giant mushroom uh, in here. This is one that is exceptionally good at, at microfiltration of E. coli. These totes can be expanded. Um, by up to a hundred times in two steps, uh, one to ten, ten to a hundred, and we have to call them. But this allows for a mobility uh, of uh, mycomass for microfiltration, and I think it could be uh, put into implementation all over the world. This is a very much low-tech method. These wood chips are not sterilized. They are not treated with any chemicals. It's a unique uh, process that we've come up with, and it's known as the garden giant for, obviously, these really magnificent mushrooms that they produce, which are edible in choice at this stage, and these are a little bit past their prime. These mushrooms will become resident in the ecosystem for many years after planting. So the garden giant mycototes could essentially just be used for food production. We typically get about one pound of mushrooms for five pounds of mycelium, but here we have 500 pounds of mycelium, so ostensibly we can get up to 100 pounds of mushrooms, but what is uniquely different is that these mushrooms are gargantuous, Godzilla mushrooms. They're huge, uh, and that's a testimonial to their nutrition, their ability to digest the nutrients, and the larger the substrate from which they spring, the larger the mushrooms. Uh, so these are in perfect condition, and this flesh here, when you cut this thin and saute it, it is just uh, absolutely delicious. So these are young mushrooms, but they're large, and that is the art uh, of mushroom cultivation. The culinary aspects vastly improve if you can get larger mushrooms but immature like this.